This video shows how to install and use Apple's fast VLM model for efficient high resolution image and text understanding all local. In this video, you are going to discover how you can also implement something like this. Just look at this image from their repo where someone is just flipping through these pages and in real time, the model is recognizing that text and also describing it so not only you can do ocr but also a quick vqa or visual question answering with the help of this model this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel we are going to install it but before that let me show you a couple more images of this model in action look at this how many fingers and model is counting it how cool is that look at this one so again, the emoji is changing and model is describing it in real time without any latency. So let's get it installed and you can simply replicate this in some sort of Apple iOS app or whatever you like in a Jiffy and I already have done a few videos on it. But let me show you how you can get it installed on your local system. I'm going to use my Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description. I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So the Conda environment is almost created. Next, let's git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And now we need to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. This is going to take few minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. While that installs the stuff, let's talk a bit more about this model in very simple words. So fast VLM is a vision language model designed to optimize the trade-offs between lateness, model size and accuracy, particularly for high resolution text rich image tasks. It features a new vision encoder called Fast Wit HD, which generates fewer visual tokens and accelerates encoding time, allowing for rapid response without sacrificing performance. Fast VLM maintains comparable benchmark scores to model like Lava 1 Vision using a 0.5 billion parameter LLM and achieves quite a good performance so this model is specially suited for scenarios requiring both accuracy and real-time performance on high resolution images they also have a very good paper which you can access from their github repo if you are in the mood of reading some deep technical analysis of the model so everything is installed next up what we need to do we need to download the models and they are available in a specific location which you can download with this get model script from the repo and that downloads a lot of checkpoints in zip format so we just have to be a bit patient while it downloads and while it does that let's talk you know for a few seconds um, just about this model a bit because it seems like a very interesting model so architecturally this fast VLM takes a hybrid approach by combining convolutional and transformer based methods within its fast wit HD encoder. And this encoder is optimized for scaling input images efficiently, eliminating the need for complex token pruning strategies. The system uh, primarily passes visual tokens from the vision backbone through a connector module to a large language model, typically following a decoder only structure. And I think this this is where its innovation lies because its ability to minimize both the computational load of the vision encoder and the number of tokens needed processing by the LLM results in a simple yet highly, highly efficient design. And that is what really fascinates me a lot about this model. 
and all the checkpoints are loaded and you don't have to use all the checkpoints so if i for example take you to this checkpoints directory and do ls there are various checkpoints available i would suggest that go with stage 3 checkpoint and then you can select the 0.5 billion or 1.5 billion or 7 billion model so for instance if i go into this lava and maybe we'll go with 7 billion one and then sorry stage 3 should be the one and there should be safe tensor and <coughs> other model files with config and everything should be there so let's go back to the root of the repo and now let's do the inference now for the inference part what we need to do first thing is to run this command which primarily runs is predict.py from the root of the repo this is uh, the path to the model's checkpoint this is the image which i'm going to use first so just an image of a bear and then i'm asking it to describe the image now before even you run this one thing you need to do is to open that predict.py in any code editor of your choice make sure wherever it says mps replace it with cuda or cpu if you are running it on cpu 7 billion parameter model don't run it on cpu at least go with the cuda but if you are using any mac or any apple device just keep mps as is but because i'm using ubuntu i don't have mps or mac so i have changed device to cuda instead of mps here so this is a change you need to make i already have done it so let's run this this is going to load the model onto our gpu and i will also show you once the model is loaded we will also check it out in another window maybe we'll check it out in uh there you go so over 16 close to i would say 17 gig of stuff it is using anyway there you go so it says that this depicts a large brown bear standing in a shallow stream the bear is wet suggesting it has been in the water the surrounding environment is lush with greenery indicating a natural habitat very terse very concise but very accurate and that is the hallmark of this model it is quite accurate it is very very low um, latency so delay is very negligible as you just saw it next let's check the ocr capability so i'm just going to give it this prompt where i'm asking it to extract the text from the image and i have given it um, this multi-language image where i have english i have various european languages i have hindi i have arabic and few other languages including chinese and russian so let's see if it is able to do it and let's run it and while it runs let's also check the vram consumption in real time so it is loading let's wait for it there you go so around i would say same thing which it showed earlier 16.5 gig of vram for this model but if you don't have that much vram of course you can go with the 0.5 uh, billion or 1.5 billion one okay so what it did here nope so it cannot do the ocr it seems very interesting maybe it's only english english one is quite good so i'm not going to check other ones maybe i will just give it then english ocr so i'm just going to change this to english hopefully this is the file name let's check it out i'm going to close this i'm going to open the other one i believe i already have the english one there you go so this is i made so let's see how it goes with the english let's check it out so if i just quickly skim through the english one looks quite good yep so it can do english ocr it's it is not multilingual but english ocr was uh, very good so you can skip the time what it takes to load the model of course because i'm running it off sort of in an offline way uh, so that is why every time it loads the model but once the model is downloaded the speed is quite good let's see if it can do the table analysis okay and even before that let's do the hand written ocr first quickly for the english so you see that there are some cutting and stuff so if i quickly read through it you see i love handwritten letters there is a dot and then looks quite good so, yep yeah. 
so i believe that its ocr in terms of english is very good and you see it was very fast too next term asking it which model uses the highest memory in the table and then model is loaded and you see how quick that is the answer moon dream 2 billion very nice very accurate very quick let's see if it can do the structured output so i'm just going to uh, maybe use it for structured one okay so i'm just sorry i'll just use it and then maybe like i'm asking it convert this model and download size columns into json format let's see if it is able to do that should be fun to see taking its bit of a time but there you go it can do that and this is really good it has even produced precision and output which i didn't ask but that is fine this is a uh, good stuff you know what it's not bad at all so really really good so even all the key value pairs are formatted very quickly maybe we could improve the prompting so i'm very happy with this model by the way next i am asking the model what is the relation between these two ladies let's see what model does here it says two individuals appears to be engaged in a mystical or magical activity possibly suggesting a close relationship as friends sisters or colleagues in a shared pursuit the setting and their focused attention on the crystal ball indicate they might be working together on a significant task or ritual so you see very accurate very concise yet very um spot on real good stuff so apple has done wonderfully well here so look very impressed by the model let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching